Hello everyone. If you are struggling to read the wiring diagram, if yes, then don't worry. By end of this video, you will have a good understanding of how to read the drawings and modify the panel. Electrical wiring diagram is a simplified conventional semantic representation of an electrical circuit. It shows the components of the circuits with simplified shapes. Let's begin now. See, if you see this drawing, here this is the cover page of any electrical drawings, but the cover page will be differs based on the requirements. If you see here, you can find supplier detail, contractors, project name, client detail, name, tag names, enclosure type, everything. And under that, if you see here, you can find here that approval drawing approval, contract number, drawing title, project title, project reference, and the size of the drawing sheets, revision numbers, sheet numbers, and the how many total number of sheets, logo, like client logo as well, and the drawing number. This is the overall cover page. If you go for next page, here you can find the table of contents or index page. Here you can find the complete number of sheets with explanation of the sheet descriptions. Example, cover sheet, index sheets, data sheets, legends and symbols, and the drawings. Okay, this is the overall for table of contents. If you go for next sheet, here, see, here you can find the technical data sheets. Example, what types of enclosure you are going to use in the project. See here NEMA 1, NEMA 3R, NEMA 4, 4X, NEMA 12, NEMA 7. And if you see here the IP rating of the panel and also the uh, enclosure material and thickness and also the temperature of the enclosure and electrical classifications and everything it will be in the technical data sheet and also the color of the panel etc and if you go for next sheet here you can find the legends and symbols if you see here which uh, if you don't know what you are exactly using you can find from here see every legends have the names with descriptions so you can find here easily see this is normally open contact this is normally closed contact and also the motor symbols and thermostat symbols relays sound alarm everything so in this legends and symbol you can find very easily and further we can go for the next one here see this is the main incoming uh, voltage from the bus bar and it is coming to the main mcc breakers mccb breaker see you can find here in this drawing this is the mccb breaker after that the power is distributed in each circuit breaker. See here. Therefore, we are telling here MCB breakers, main miniature circuit breaker. Okay. This one is distributed for each line. See here, you can find local control panel, flow, flow meters, ultrasonic level transmitters, R2 panels, etc. And this is the panel of that uh, incoming power distribution. And if you go for next page, See here, you can find your panel overview which contains the size, like example, the height of the panel, depth, and also the overview of the panel. Here you can find the accessories of the panel also. If you don't know what is this exactly, for example, 14, you can find here. 14 is 4 mounting hole. And if you go for any of the number here, you can find the legend here. See the description of that number. So it is very easy to identify what is this exact material. And also if you see the similar to the photos, you can find here also the similar uh, enclosure photos also available here. So you can identify very easily. If you go for the next page, see here you can find the main power distribution. Like example, the main power from MCCB, it is going to uh, the say here starter panel. Now for the branch breaker after that it is going to the see here you can find from this uh, enclosure also uh, it is going to the power meter or any ammeter voltmeter etc here 
and also you see here this is the symbol for transformer CTs okay and this is the symbol for main circuit breaker MCCB and you can see here it is reading the lower tower also so this is the main power distribution in this panel once you go for the next page you can find here how the uh, main power is it is going to the starter panel see this is the starter panel and right side you can find the same starter panel here as well and from here it is uh, see here it is distribute it is going to the power meter this is pm 200 this is the power meter and you can read here directly the voltage as well as current see the uh, current uh, transformers see here this is the same current transformer it is reading the current and if you go further down and you can find here this is overload relay okay after this overload relay it is going to the pump and from here this KL2 this KL2 is very important to understand because from this KL2 when it will be on and off so if you if in this page you cannot find this one when it is operate see when you operate the uh, MCCB breakers and everything it is going up to KL2 but the KL2 it will be not operate until the see if you go for the next page here you can find here see this is the KL2 this KL2 will operate once these conditions are satisfied see these conditions when it will satisfied when the emergency stop button from the SCADA should be normally closed and emergency starter from the RTU should be normally closed and also this uh, R1 should be normally closed because this R1 is low low level okay it should be normally closed and emergency stop from the pump it should be closed and it is going to this relay number see this is from relay control panel R10 R11 see this one you can find in these places see here you can, uh, you can find here R10 R11 this relay should be satisfied and it should be normally closed with the circuit once its uh, circuit is closed then only the condition will all the condition will be satisfied and also if you see these numbers from the emergency stop example 32 and 34 you can find here even if you it's not closed you can make a jumper in these places so it will be closed automatically no? So after that, it, all the lines will be closed. You see here, it is 230 voltage example. It should be measured measure up to here. This means the line is okay. Okay. So once you measure the 230 voltage up to here, then it should be go to this point. From here, selector switch, manual and auto. If you here in this uh, panel, main panel, in the main room, you can find the selector switch. It should be satisfied with manual or auto manual means when you put the manual button then it will be come to the stop button the stop button is normally closed and you can run this one directly see you can press the start push button once the start push button is on then this relay will activate when this kl2 relay this relay is activated at the meantime the rc2 relay will be activate because it is latched automatically and it will be close the circuit continuously okay so this one if you go for automatic operation it is it this rm2 should be satisfied once it is satisfied it will be continuously latch this kl2 see this kl2 it will be run yes see this one it will be closed automatically so this uh, you need to satisfy this condition through these logics okay if you go further see here you can find here these things see here the same relays and uh, all these cables should be shorted and the voltage should be from 230 it will become up to kl2 okay if we go further here you can find here see this relays like low low level low level high level high high level this all the condition is satisfied example if the low low level is if r1 is there this means the circuit from the previous section it will not complete see here 
R1. Okay, this should be normally closed. So this low level level should be not there in this logic. And if the R2 is there and also the R3, this is for the pump 1 run and this is for the pump 2 run. It should be closed. See in the next drawing, I will show you here. See here. This is a similar to that pump starter. See the pump starter should be closed and it will come to the uh, over or like uh, alternate relay. Once it's satisfied, then it is coming to the R2 relay. This R2 is I level and this is II level. So once the I level is closed, then the RM relay RM1 it will be on. Okay. Similarly, if this this is for the second pump, when this pump uh, starter pump 2 it's closed and any one of the pump will start at the same time because it will not stop together because it's connected with auxiliary contract relays okay this will start any one of the pump but in some condition example if the relay number 3 or relay number 4 is activated see here you can find here relay number 3 or relay number 4 you can activate from this place itself no? so once you activate this relay it will be automatically contact these both contractors directly either rm1 and rm2 together because this is this uh, this is i i level this means the tank level is very high now so it will be start immediately the pumps so the pump will start based on these conditions this is called relay logic or relay control panel logics okay so once it's satisfied that all the conditions from here the 230 voltage will be transferred to here and it will start the pump directly okay this is the overview of the how the pump control or the relay control panel or electrical control panel will be work see if and also if you see here this starter panel wirings we have the wiring diagram so you need to be understand see this relay number one it is connected with relay number one normally open contact normally close contact for pump run and pump stop if you go further, you can find here pump tray, RT1, and this is for remote, and this is from the selector switch for auto and manual. So this all the all the wirings it is interlocked with relays and some selector switches like this. Once it's satisfied, you can get the signal directly. Similarly, for the pump control also, if you see here the pump control from the relay panel, see once it's coming from here and it will be it will go to the relay uh, starter panel as well and this is the main power distribution for this starter panel see this three this three this is for the main starter panel wiring and this is for this terminal box and it is connected with relays further if you have any clarification kindly send comments i will make a very depth video as well on future and also finally if you see the bill of materials, you can find in the wiring diagram also. See, you can find all the bill of material which you use the components. See here, all the components number, it will be mentioned and the number of quantities, reference number, everything is mentioned in this uh, wiring diagrams. So all the details, see here, complete wiring diagram you can find here. I hope you understand how to read this drawing and modify the panels. Thank you for watching this video. If you like, if you have any doubts or need more topics in instrumentation control, smart solutions, IIoT, digital transformation, please comment. I will prepare and provide the video for you. If you like this video, press the like button or share to your friends and network. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.